welcome to Elox Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video we're continuing with the Hemingway sensitive knurling tool. We're doing some more work on the arms that hold the knurling wheels and we're making some more parts on the lathe. So we'll first start off on the milling machine. So let's go into the workshop, see how we do it. What I've done here, when I'm drilling the hole that is right on the edge of the arm, I've put a piece of packing steel in the back so the drill will go straight through the middle rather than push off to one side. If you're trying to drill a hole that's half and half, there's a chance that the flutes will get caught on the edge and you could snap your drill. So by putting the piece of steel at the back, it makes it a complete hole and the drill will follow straight through. I've just fitted my boring bar because I don't have the correct size reamer for this hole. Now this piece of brass should fit there. I've just polished it up on the end. Let's see if it fits. Yeah. I'm not going to take any more out of that. Take this out. That's the piece of scrap material I used to hold it. That's the ball. Just needs cleaning up. Sharp edges taken off. And that's the one side, except for the radiuses on here. Okay, I'm just machining the corners. And to do this, I've, I've put the components on a plate, which is on my dividing head. So I can turn the head to get a radius. I've moved the tool from the centre out more than the radius I want and now I'm just feeding the tool in until I get the radius that I need. This edge is used to align the part on the one side and this edge is used to align the part on the other side and then you can cut the radius. It makes it much easier to realign the part when cutting the other corners. I'm feeding the table that way. This is what we've made so far on the milling machine and all I have to do now is finish machining the arms. I'm starting off on the lathe making part 7 which is the lever boss. So first of all I'll face this off. I now drill the hole half inch deep.
the outside diameter is already at size so I'll take this opportunity just to polish it with some emery. I've just put my parting off tool on so I'll just check that I've got it square to the chuck now I can move it in touch on the end zero move down 2.4 which is the width of the tool and zero then come down 15.9 slow my light down just come in there Before I pop that off, I'll just change my tool. I want to put a chamfer on the edge. I've replaced my parting off tool. Now I should be able to go in and part that off. I've turned that round, placed it back in the chuck, and now I'm just going to face the end. Turn it round and just polish, take the sharp edge off. Now, all I need to do with this pass is drill a hole. Where the handle goes through, but I can't do that until I assemble it to get the position. Now starting on the lower pivot, which is made from silver steel. Just face that off. And zero my X and Y. I need to come in three eighths and turn that down to three eight long and a quarter inch diameter.
engage my Travis. Just polish that up to size. Just about one and a half they were over. I'll just take a sharp edge off. Now I need to part this off to length and then turn the other side. Make sure everything's locked up. Just got some oil on the end of this rod. I've replaced it back in the chuck jaw the other way around so I can now face off where I parted just faced off the end so what I need to do now is take it out the chuck and measure the length you need one and a quarter this is One point two nine eight. So I'll put that back in the chuck. Bring my tool to the end. Zero on my X. Machine some more off. Two and a half thou to come off, so I'll send the tool down again, but I won't put a cut on. Take the sharp edge off again and that's the finished piece that's the top and the bottom pivots oh well that's it for today thanks for watching hope that was interesting and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering <laughs>